your conversation. Will you really be able to bring Shirley and Zeke back? Mia can sense the internal emotional circuits surging. <laughs> Shirley and Zeke are important companions. Alas, I am a malfunctioning smart servant. But if I may be of assistance in any way, please take me with you. All right, let's go and come home together, all four of us. Detected. Please investigate. Energy into this tower in winter, when the shelter's energy supply runs low. But today... Is something wrong? Don't worry. It may be just a glitch, or a dispatch error. Or someone touching the wrong button. We'll still have to go and talk with those old guys up there if we want to straighten things out. I'm gonna open up a space rift that leads right to the upper level of the Tower of Fantasy. But only for a brief moment. Stay close, kid. I come from Astra, and I'm here with Franz. Astra Shelter, area code HT501. Frog, Mia enters High Cross territory for the first time. Welcome, young one. I'm Klima, commander of the District 9 Executors. Captain Klema, the Omnium Tower. Did something go wrong with it? The heirs of Ida tampered with the energy transmission program. It's causing the five Omnium Towers to send their stored energy back to the Central Tower. The Central Tower has a finite storage capacity. Exceeding it could dangerously overload the system. This looks to be a rather serious problem. Do we have any quick fixes? As a safety precaution, we had to vent excess Omnium to the surface at the cost of causing a certain degree of radiation damage. This is not a permanent solution. <laughs> Just leave these troubles to Archon Elric. Let's focus on you, kid. Before coming up here, I already told them about your circumstances. Fraun submitted a report detailing that you triggered momentary space-time distortions during combat. Is that true? Yes. Time would sometimes flow extremely slowly around me. We call this phenomenon Fantasia. It's a human-generated temporal distortion in a localized area. It's usually an ability only exhibited by executors. The Executor Order is an elite unit formed to handle all forms of Omnium disasters. Its members are genetically augmented to possess a certain degree of control over the time dimension. I found info related to you in the Executor Order's database dated half a year back. You and your squad went MIA during an operation. I... I was an Executor? Indeed. However, we still don't know what happened to you during the last six months. Archon Elric said that you are not a part of District 9, so they don't have the authority to access your information. Perhaps you're... from another district? Another... district? Hmm. But Archon Elric did say that you'll be under District 9's jurisdiction for the time being. 
Because we're kind of under an emergency. We're currently facing many difficulties. The heirs of Ida are planning something. And the issues with the Omnium Towers need to be resolved urgently. Hycros has limited manpower in District 9 currently. We need your help in dealing with the heirs of Ida. I have reported your situation to Archon Elric in District 9. You should go see him. Welcome to Hycros. I'm Elric, Archon of District 9. Captain Klima has informed me of your situation. I'm delighted to see the return of one of our steamed executors. As for Zeke, Hycros will relay the latest intel to you via Franz and provide whatever assistance we can render. Thank you, Archon Elric. Franz said that you lost all your memories upon your rescue. Is that so? Yes. I can't remember anything that happened before then. The report also mentions that you possess excellent combat skills. It looks like you have retained your past training and skills. Which is to say, you can still perform your duties as an executor. I have no doubt. However, a full inspection is still required before you return to active duty. We will log your data and upgrade your suppressor with the latest modules. Understood. I am ready. Are you ready? Research. I hope you'll make good use of its power. <laughs> Looks like you two are getting along fine. Franz? Are you okay? Me? I'm... great. How have these geezers been treating you? Franz? Hey, have you told them everything? Not entirely. Same old you. Everything's a secret, yet you still want people to go out on a limb for you. There is no confirmation of what happened to our returned executor. We found an unknown string of virus in their suppressor chip during the inspection. The virus tried to infect the Executor's Order's database. Thankfully, we found it in time and isolated it. But as soon as it was discovered, it initiated a self-destruct sequence. We did not manage to discover its origins. Oh, is that true? You really lost your memories? We did a full inspection. There is evidence that someone wiped their memories. Aside from that, we find no abnormalities. Do you have more... Mm, valuable information? I'm sorry. I will assign someone to get to the bottom of what happened to you. I hope it does not damage the trust between us. Looks like there's not much here. Did this kid really come from another district? You must have a lot of questions. Mr. Franz, where are these other districts you mentioned? Uh... It was a while ago. Back when we were studying time retracement. Franz? Okay, all right. You can't reveal too much, I get it. I'm sorry. I'm unable to give you the answers right now. And it's not because I do not trust you. The fact of the matter is, time retracement is a sensitive subject and a closely guarded secret even within Hykros. I hope you understand. I understand, Archon Elric. I assure you, I will explain everything to you in due course. Hmm. Then I'll just have to take your word for the kid for now. Archon Elric, don't forget that you promised to help me track Zeke down. In exchange, I hope that you will help us solve the problems regarding the Omnium Towers and the heirs of Ida. Well, well. Just leave the Omnium Tower to us. Do you need anything else? 
If it's all right, I'd like to have a few words with the kid alone. I still have matters to deal with in Parliament. So, this is where we part ways. Go do whatever you need to do. I'll let you know immediately if there's any progress. Looking at the bigger picture, our visit wasn't completely in vain. At least you're back to being an executor, and Hykros even promised to help search for leads regarding Zeke. It's obvious that Archon Elric and the others still don't entirely trust you. I mean, they couldn't risk opening up to you before making it clear where you're really from. Don't let that bother you. I understand your concerns, and I thank you greatly for your assistance, Mr. Franz. Come on, it was nothing. We still have plenty on our plate. I'm about to head back to the Astra Omnium Tower and see how things are faring there. Palu has already sent me a bunch of messages asking what is going on. I'll explain to Palu everything that went down here, so don't you worry. If you want, you can take a look around here. After all, you are an official member of Hykros now. I'll be waiting for you on top of the Astra Omnium Tower. Don't take too long. How was it? It's like experiencing a piece of reality all over again. I was able to recall what happened in the past so clearly. Memory extractors are able to evoke your memories fully and back them up. At least according to Archon Elric. Though whether the memory is completely genuine, that's something I'm still skeptical about. Mr. Franz, I... I feel a little dizzy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You... are you okay? <sighs> I was just kidding. Hey, this is serious. Are you sure you're alright? I'm... doing okay. Hmm. Where was the place we first met? The entrance to the Ostra Shelter Ruins? And... How much time has passed since you officially returned to Hykros? Um, about half a year? One last question. Your next mission, what is it? Well, nobody told me about it yet. Oh, sorry about that. I just assumed Archon Elric would have... Actually, it's about Shirley. She's being quite reckless. And she wants to get back to Vera as soon as possible to look for traces of Zeke. However, the space rift connecting the two locations has yet to stabilize. Currently, Hykros has only dispatched one squad, led by Meryl to Vera. Also, Shirley's identity is rather... Uh, unique, in light of her ties with the heirs of Ida. We were hoping you could go with her and be her guardian. Are you ready to go? Yep, 
this memory backup is prepared especially for you. After all, you lost your memory once. So I'm worried that you may be unexpectedly affected when shuttling between different planes while using the space rifts. The backup is complete. Now you can go back and experience your memories whenever you want. Unfortunately, you still can't recover the memories that you lost. Thank you. Your memory backup will be in the good hands of our technicians, so don't worry. By the way, Shirley is still waiting for you, so make sure you go and see her before you leave. Did everything go well? Um, about backing up your memories, I mean. Yeah. Thanks for asking. No, no. I don't want my willful request to trouble you in any way. Actually, it doesn't matter if you don't want to accompany me. Surely, we don't have to act like strangers. Sorry, that's not what I meant. I... I just don't know how I should face everyone, given who I am now. Am I Nemesis? A puppet of the heirs of Ida? Or... You're my friend, Shirley. We still have a lot to do together. I promised to help you find your brother, and I promised everyone in the shelter that I would bring both you and Zeke back together. We... still have a lot of things we need to do together. Yes, we've been through a lot together, and we've lost many things that belong to us. We'll get them back... together. Yes, I'm so happy to have met you. Same here. Thank you for telling me this. I feel much better now. Let's go. Archon Elric, Dr. Claire, and that new world called Vera are waiting for us. Directional parameters were corrected, but the results still need verification. So, can the stability of the current anchor points be maintained? I've calibrated the orientation device of the space rift. As long as it's not overloaded, there shouldn't be a problem. Oh, greetings, Exec. We have successfully opened the dimensional passage to the Vera region. A squad from the Executor Order has been dispatched to investigate. The Vera region was under the jurisdiction of Hycros District 7 back before the Cataclysm. A couple of years ago, Mook Squad went to re-establish contact with the area. Now, District 7 has expressed willingness to work with us. The mission this time is to ask you to act as Shirley's guardian as you accompany her to the Vera region. Shirley is keen to find any trace of her brother. You could save yourself a heap of trouble if the locals were willing to help. Ah, well, Shirley still isn't fully stable, after all. We need someone we can trust to go with her. I know I really shouldn't trouble everyone with this, but I just worry about my brother so much. I heard through the grapevine that the Vera region is the home of the invasive creature called Grayspace Entities. They're a serious threat to the local ecology and human safety. We are currently in discussions with District 7 over how to cooperate in tackling this gray space entities threat. Until we have the situation under control, however, be sure to exercise extreme caution. Dr. Claire has already calibrated the space rift parameters, so you and Shirley are good to go at will. The headquarters of District 7 is in a huge city known as Miroria. You should ask their Archon, Larson, for help. Making such a long-distance transmission is no easy task. You should prepare yourselves. Thank you. 
you feeling? Any dizziness or other discomfort? I... I'm fine. Completely normal. Thanks for asking. Oh, that's good. I was worried that such a long transmission would have some unpleasant effects. What is this place? This is the Silver Coast Research Station under District 7. They've managed to re-establish contact with Asperia with this equipment. We're in Lavoria now? Well, this research facility is actually in the north of the Yellow Rock Desert. But Maroria is not too far. <laughs> 